Hey guys, it's Gia from Smart Home Makers. Today, I'm gonna to show you how I've integrated my little smart home devices into Home Assistant. Now, I'm using a Combi 2 stake. Now, I've used this for different type of integrations like Acaro motion sensors, but you can use the Zigbee stick to actually integrate little smart home devices. So, what do we need to do? So if you haven't got a combi stick, you can check down the link in the description down below. You'll find the uh, official guide for decons and you'll also find the combi 2 stick on Amazon. I feel a link if you want to check out the price. But normally averages around £35 and it's a little USB stick that you stick in into your device. I have a QNAP NAS, so I use that in my QNAP and I'll show you how I actually configure it in my VM and then I'll show you all the steps to get it into Home Assistant. <laughs> So I'm in the virtualization station in the QNAP UI and click on your VM and you'll see this USB connection. Uh, so if you click on this, you should be able to mount. So my one's already mounted as you can see here from this little symbol, the disconnect symbol. But you click here, click OK, and that's going to mount it for you. And then you should see it right here. So that part has is successfully done. Now, when you reboot your VM or you restart your QNAP NAS, you might need to uh, do this step again. So be mindful of that. And if you find any disconnection problem, go back and check if the actual uh, Dresden electronic stick is still connected up or not. Now back into Home Assistant, go to your supervisor tab and look for the decons add-on. So go to your add-on store and search for decons. I have it here already, as you can see. So click on decons. And there's a couple of things to uh, bear in mind. I've got it all installed. Version 6.5 is working fine for me. Uh, you've got your simple command start and restart. I've got it set up as start on boot. I have show in sidebar, which appears right here. Now, in terms of setting this up, it's pretty straightforward. You can go through the documentation, but you just find the decons add and click install, as mentioned. If you're using the RAS RASB, uh, you can follow these uh, configurations right here. I'll be using the Foscon web UI and I'll show you it's quite intuitive how to use and I'll show you how we can actually add a uh, light strip in. So really important step once you've added this add-on you'll need to go to the configuration tab and go to integrations and add on the decons integration that's a step that uh, I al always forget to do. So go to configurations integrations and you would go add integration and you would search for decons like this so in my example I have it configured I have currently 11 devices and 20 entities like everything else you can just click on it you can see all the devices that have been paired these are the little devices as you can see here the ones that are marked as a uh, Heyman manufacturer and we have 20 entities and all these entities can be renamed like as any other integration. Now, once your decons is all up and running, go to your decons tab and you have two options. You can either use the Foscon uh, UI or the decons UI. I always use the Foscon UI. So you will click on the Foscon UI and you might need to authenticate, put a password in and set up obviously for the first time. Uh, you can create groups. So what I did very simply, these groups are not important for Home Assistant. They're just linked into the Foscon app. So from here, I can actually control my devices to add these devices. I'm going to get a light strip now and I can actually show you how to do it. So here I've got the light strip. So as I've showed you in the other video, it's quite simple to connect up. Just um, connect this connect a piece here and you will need to connect it to the light strip very straightforward to do so as you can see here from the screen we have our extended color light 6 so this should be this light strip over here if you click on the extended color light strip, we can call this, um, let's call it light strip uh, garage. 
so rename it and I'm going to assign it to the garage now if I go back to lights we can stop searching now we go back to our main page go to garage and you go so we've got garage strip lights so we can turn on turn off from here so we're testing that this is actually the right one to pick up now renaming it here actually doesn't do the trick entirely what you're going to need to do is go to configuration tab go to the integrations tab and uh, go into your decons and now we see we've got 21 entities click on the 21 and we need to look for extended color light 6 and you can click on it and now we need to rename this so this will be your entity idea that you can use so you can call it uh, garage light strip you can update it and then i would advise you to also update the name so you can go strip once that's been updated that should be all good go back to your overview tab and now in my uh, little dashboard I'm gonna add another light just to showcase this uh, not just to add a uh, light here we go and we're gonna do uh, was it garage light strip so you can sort of already change things from here. So you can see I can change the intensity of the, of the light. I can turn off, turn on. Someone's at front door. Okay, I'm back. Let me know if that happens to you. Someone knocks on the door when you're actually doing something quite important. So, okay, back to us. So the light strip here, turn on, turn off, as I mentioned, a hard press will enable us to change the colors. So you've got the whole color spectrum here. Basically it acts as a um, light strip. Now, a thing that we need to be careful of is the actual power plug, the smart plug. So the smart plug, as you can see, I've integrated it here. That actually comes on the light. So if you're trying to pair your smart plug, but you can't get it to pair, then go, go and have a look and try to get it to work with under lights. You can see it under lights here and you'll see it with this symbol here. So that is a, a quick tip for you. And I managed to get all of my little devices in. The trick was to get them back into sync mode. So first I paired them into the little gateway and then I paired them into home assistant now. So it's all good. So if you got value out of this video, please consider a like and subscribing. Comment down below and let me know what you think about these little devices. Check out this playlist and you'll find the best of smart home makers. Quite some new cool videos are coming, so stay safe and enjoy the holidays.